Hello guys, this is testing with the Codeless Test Automation tool. When you execute the application, you have the welcome screen available on your display. You have four options to start off with. First is recording when you click on this icon, an internal recorder would open and you can just start off recording your session. The internal recorder is based on IE. If you want to check some samples, you just need to click here and the tool will show all the samples available here. You can set the configuration just by clicking here where you can set your email, language, browser and integration preference. If you check out some online documentation, manuals and release notes, you just need to click here. I'm just closing this up and you will have the project information page out here. You just need to type down the project name, the project URL, test execution cycle, environment, project description, build version, build date, base URL, automation prepared by, and save it. The hierarchy of the test project comes as test project, test suite, and test cases. You have all the commands available on the left hand side of your screen where you can just put down the keyword you would want to search for. I'm searching for wait so you can see all the commands and subcommands available for wait. And as I said, the tool can be utilized to prepare the test scripts for web, mobile, database, API, and cloud execution. And you can <coughs> Just prepare the test cases using these commands. If I want to verify something, I just need to search for verify and all the commands associated with verify would come along. You can utilize these commands to prepare your test scripts. This icon is for recording. This will start off the internal recorder of the tool. And if you don't want to use it, and if you would like to use the other recorders, that are Google Chrome and Firefox, you just need to click here and start off with that. I'm using the internal recorder to showcase how the tool records. This is the screen comes up when you start off the internal recorder. And I just need to put down the URL here. In fashion, www.testing-viz.com and I need to click on go. When you click on go, you will see the URL open on this side. And on the left hand side, you can see the tool has recorded one step. That is open page, that is a command and value as the URL. Once you do that, you can stretch the screen to change the responsiveness. So you can see the whole page open in here. Let's say if I want to download a form, I need to click on download testing this. The next command on the left hand side is click and it has recorded an object this time that is download testing this. Now I need to search for some details or I need to fill down some details here. As you can see, whatever I'm putting in and wherever I'm clicking upon, the tool is downloading and putting it into the commands here. I'm selecting from the drop downs. Writing a message. And clicking on start my free trial. When I stop the recording, you would see the case prepared with all the values I have put in there, all the commands here, and the object repository of the tool has all the objects where I have clicked upon. So as you can see, I have clicked on download testing this. The object properties like alias, name, ID, tag type, 
inner HTML value CSS path and XPath is fetched by the tool for all the objects. So once you have prepared a script, if you want to execute it any of the browsers, these are the browsers available in the tool. Google Chrome, Firefox, IE, Edge, and you can perform headless execution as well. If you want to execute something on Android and iOS platform, you would use these options. Also, you can tick on these checkboxes to take the screenshot of these steps. And you can fill in the description column to see which steps is utilized for what purpose. I'm executing it in this case in Google Chrome and see how it execute the test case. As you can see, the tool is filling in some details and wherever you can see that red highlight, that means the tool is taking the screenshots. So once the test case has been executed, you will see the project summary. You will see the pie chart that includes Passed, failed, skipped, and other details. You can see the execution details on the right hand side with project name, the operating system, and the browser utilized, the execution time, the tool has put in, in as RBT enabled execution or not. And if you go to details, you will see all the step-by-step -step summary of the executed test case with the logs. When you click on the images icon here, you will see the screenshot of the particular test command. Once you have an executed test case report, you can click here and email the report to any of your stakeholder. But for same, you will require to configure your email details using settings and configuration. So this is just a simple web test case. If you want to add a data table, you can just prepare a data table with the details so I'm just preparing two as first name and I can choose from the test data types that are already available so for this case I would be using alphabetical uh, let's see I want to use something for visa so I just need to choose visa and the number of combinations can be selected from this side as you can see the tool has prepared own random set of data in here if you want to import any Excel or CSV file just click here and import it into the tool you can make use of the loop commands to make this script data driven also you can compare the images just by selecting the command image here and the tool will compare the images it can be URL to URL it can be file to file and it can be a URL to a file you can check the samples 
by clicking on file open samples and you will get all the samples available here so you can compare the images you can check the sample that is available in here so once you have prepared a test case if you want to prepare methods out of it you can just select methods add a method name that method and you can create a method out of it i think it will work happy testing thank you